March 7, 2030, the world acclaimed journal Nature, in the memory of its editor Magzin Clark, brought out a special issue called Women in Science. Outlining the problems faced by women who pursue careers in academics and research. These clearly indicate that women in science face many challenges. Many other studies also show how despite higher degrees including graduation, post-graduation and even doctorates in science, women are severely underrepresented in the sciences. While data show that women outperform men academically and have higher graduation rates, female researchers in many parts of the world have 20 to 30 percent diminished chances of equal employment as compared to their male counterparts. The reasons, if one is to explore, are many. And it is a complex combination of social, cultural and financial factors. While many of us may disagree, but there exists a deeply rooted conscious and unconscious gender bias which still stereotypes scientific disciplines as masculine fields. As a result of this, young women even though competent are often discouraged from pursuing intensely competitive field of scientific research. Experts explain the underrepresentation of women in academia by a term called the leaky pipeline. The term refers to the postdoctoral years when women are often seen to drop active research as they find relocation to new cities with spouse and children difficult. It might come as shocking, but due to the existing gender bias, women researchers worldwide competitively receive less support for their research in the form of funding, lab space, office support and grants for equipment and travel. While science to a large extent remains institutionally gender biased, there exists a need to fill this gap. A recent step towards addressing this issue is the constitution of an 18-member standing committee that will ensure equal opportunities for women in science in the country. With measures like this, we can hope to close the gender gap in the scientific society and include more women researchers towards the betterment of society.